Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger install video for y'all. As you guys can see, we got Vader right here, you know what I'm saying? And we got these ugly stock side markers that we're going to be taking care of today. I'm not going to lie, the red is okay. But the orange up front is just complete trash. Now the red, the reason why I say it's okay is not just because it's my favorite color, but also because the brake lights actually shine red. And then there's rear deflectors on the, well, reflectors on the diffuser that are also red, and then it just ties in with the calipers. But that orange, there's literally nothing orange on this car whatsoever. So getting rid of these joints today, um, didn't feel like doing an unboxing just because I feel like you know you guys are used to getting those so I'm just gonna start getting straight into the installs with these uploads man so y'all already know from Mamba I had to do the clear white LED side markers shout out to my boy 10 speed Creed for finding these I have been looking for some clear white LEDs for the front and the rear for so long everybody has it's either they're clear and the LEDs are still red and orange or they're clear and the fronts are white and the rear are red or they're just white and smoked out so thankfully was able to find these joints I'm gonna be installing those today I'm gonna start off by turning the wheel to the passenger side I believe it's just a couple torques screws that you have to undo to get this finger liner to kind of peel back and then you just probably push up against this tag this tab right here on the stock side marker and push outwards and they should just pop out and then it's literally plug and play super simple now the rear I'm probably gonna take the rear wheels off just to get to it because as you guys know if you've been in the loop with all of the uploads we do have the ZL1 style rock guards on that joint now. So just to get those off, it's not gonna be enough space, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get those joints off while the wheel is on. So we're just gonna take the wheels off like we did when we installed the rock guards and we'll do the rears. So let's go ahead and start by turning this wheel that way and getting these fronts done. But now that we got the wheel turned the other way, it exposes these three Torx bit bolts that you're gonna need to undo. And then literally in the brake duct, you can see one of the tabs that you gotta push in. Once you push those tabs in, that uh, side marker should just fall straight out. Sorry that it's overexposed. I was just trying to show you guys those screws. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of those. Um, and then I'll update you guys once I get that fender liner open up. Basically what you're gonna wanna do is, as you guys seen, there's already one of the tabs peeking through this little inlet for your brakes to be cooled down. So you're gonna push through that tab, push that one out, and then kind of like grab like a flathead or something to kind of pull on the fender liner a little bit, and then you'll get that top tab. And so you'll be at this position right here. Now, the way that you get past this is by undoing this harness by pulling on that tab right there. Well, not pulling, but pushing down on that tab. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, but you just compress this tab in and then pull outward and it'll come off. Okay, now once you get this joint, the whole assembly disassembled, you're gonna have to retain this orange piece right here where the bulb goes into because you're legit just gonna plug this in as if it was a light bulb. And then you'll just reinstall the side marker. All right, y'all, so this is what the finished product is gonna look like. You literally plug it in as if it was a bulb, and then you can just take the prong, kind of feed the wire in there. So this is what it'll look like with the connector piece, you know, uh, locked into place. And then you're literally just gonna go here, reconnect the harness, and then it's as simple as literally just popping it back into place making sure the tabs click and you should be good so we went from this disgusting orange mess to that clear clean sleek look oh i love that all right y'all so this is what it looks like all cleaned up it definitely looks way better than the stock orange like i said now we're gonna go ahead 
do the passenger side. I ain't gonna show y'all that. And then we'll move to doing the rear. So I am gonna show y'all that. So y'all gonna see me start doing the rear in like five seconds. But it's really gonna be like five minutes for me because I gotta do the front passenger. All right, y'all got the car jacked up right now. We just need to go ahead and take this wheel off. I'm not gonna bore y'all, so let's go ahead and take that wheel off. And then we can go ahead and take out these three Phillips screws. And we should be able to bend back this fender liner to get access to that side marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'll update you guys as I go. All right, y'all, so basically how you do this is you're gonna just slightly kind of pick at that fender liner and kind of work it work it out of the groove that it's in and then I don't know how well you guys can see but there's this pin right here where my pinky's at and there's another one above it all you have to do is push those outward and then the whole side marker is gonna pop out of place and then you can disconnect it and connect the new one and once you pop them uh, two pins out of place all you got to do, like I said on the first one, is compress this pin inwards, pull outwards, I'm trying to do this one handed just like that, and then you take this socket out, replace it with the new LED side marker, and you just put everything back in place. So you just pop that socket back on, line everything up, once you get it all in place, you want to firmly push in until you hear that click to make sure that it's locked in place and you tuck your fender liner back in place and go ahead and in your case if you don't have the rock guards all you're going to be doing is installing those T10 Torx Bix screws in my case I got the rock guards so reinstall the rock guards put the wheel back on drop the car down and you should be good to go alright y'all so once you go ahead and put that back on, put the tire back on like I was saying, all you got to do is drop the car down to the floor and the install is complete. Now I'm going to wait until the sun goes down a little bit and then I'll show you guys the car with the side markers on because then they'll really be able to shine. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep them just clear or if I'm going to smoke them a little bit so that they are matched the tail lights. We'll see down the line, but as of right now, we're just going to wait till the sun goes down and then I'll show you guys what they look like because they're really going to shine when the sun is when the sun is down. But other than that, let's see. Quick little remote start action. preview man just a little preview but yeah we're gonna wait till the light go the sun goes all the way down and then I'll show you guys a quick walk around again at night but as you can tell how bright they are right now wait till the sun go down many unbearable hours later all right y'all so just made it back to the crib it's dark now as you guys can tell so you can really get the full effect of these side markers look at that side view look at how much light they put out Yes, sir. Quick little walk around. There goes the rears. Them joints are stupid bright, bro. Like, for real, for real. Like, you can do, like, whatever. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, just these joints are bright as hell, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Without further ado though, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, February 18th, 2022, 7 o'clock to 10 p.m. Make sure you guys are there. J.I. Wings and Cars. Yeah, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.